Hello everybody, I am Embrix and in this video I want to be talking about collectible minifigures or blind bags as the most commonly called these are. Um, they come in these blind bag packets as people call them and um, obviously this one is already open from the Harry Potter line but this took me a while to set up because I don't have a base plate at the moment free so I had to stand them all up and it was kind of like putting up dominoes, you know, I kept knocking one over then they'd all fall but yeah, they came in these individually packed blind bags. Now, before this video, I've just reviewed so many of these figures, all of them that I do own. Now, I own, I believe 53, though I was counting rather quickly, so could, 50 plus, let's leave it at that, 50 plus collectible minifigures. Now, blind bags now go for $4, now uh, US, so, in all of my review videos where I review one of them, I always say that these should be one. And I don't think I'm dreaming when I say that. I think we're just used to it being $4, which is why when someone wants it to be $1, everyone's like, oh, that would never happen. But I think they should be $1 because all you're really getting is a figure. And I'd even be fine with $2, honestly, because honestly, in poly bags, they had some with two figures and a build for four dollars or um maybe one figure and a build for four dollars or maybe a figure that's super good and it's guaranteed so you can choose it or whether you want it or not for four dollars and then we have ten dollar sets with four minifigures and a build for ten dollars so it's either two minifigures in blind bags or four of those minifigures and like three substantial builds now i so i don't think the value is there for blind bags so uh before i talk about why i still buy them because if you guys well i don't have that many um subscribers right now but if you are a subscriber and you do know me it's i never buy overpriced lego sets like while Wakanda, I waited for it to drop from $40 on sale on, for 32. Then I was like, okay, I can get it now because it's a good price. I never buy overpriced, even if I really want it. So that's one of my rules. So why do I buy blind bags? Which is uh, what I'm gonna talk about. Um, after I talk about why I have so many right now, I'm gonna be honest, in my life, I've only ever bought in three blind bags or m me, myself, I've only ever had, um, sorry, not three, five, yeah, five blind bags. So I had three from, uh, what was it, Series 10, I believe. I got the Yeti, uh, two from Series 10. I got the Yeti and the Royal Soldier, or whatever he's called, and Nelson from a Simpsons minifigure packet. I got those at a Lego land, and I got them like uh, when they first released and my dad got them for me so I didn't pay for those and I wasn't aware of the prices at the time It was when I was just starting to get into Lego and then I got two of these Both as gifts to Harry Potter blind bags. So I knew they were a bad deal, but it was a gift So I have not paid for one single of these minifigures. So let me explain five minifigures came from gifts blind bag now I, I like I'll go so far. I even have extras. I have extras of figures that are also shown there right here I have two of these I even have a garment on so yeah a bunch of extras and if you notice the vast majority here I'm only mi missing three figures is from the Lego Ninjago movie line. I even have like what is it? Six extras from the Lego Ninjago movie line, and I'm only missing three figures to complete the series so a lot of times what happens, like I got Zodiac Man back there and then that swimsuit Batman at a Lego line. A lot of times in Lego lands, they say, or not Lego stores, like on their bags, they'll have a minifigure. If you bring your own from home, you can swap it out, right? So a lot of kids, they just open blind bags and then swap out minifigures as I've seen at Lego lands. So trading is a huge thing. I got the majority of these figures. I said I had like 53, so I got like 50 of them just from trading, yes. And um, I also trade with other people, like a bunch of my friends and stuff like that. And one of my friends or two of my friends are obsessed with the Ninjago. They were so hyped for the Lego Ninjago movie. So they just got so many blind bags. That's where I got all my Ninjago figures. So yeah, uh, a lot of the part, a big part of all of this is just trading. That's why I have so many. But 
it is a dream of mine to like own like from all the series i do want to own all the series and then like display all the series complete so now i'm thinking of starting to buy them again now here's why i am thinking of buying it as i said uh that i talked about after i talked about why i have so many so uh, it's like there's a difference between expensive and overpriced like the death star which is a set i owned and reviewed you can go check that out is expensive it was 400 us dollars i got the 2008 version or the new one which isn't that different is 500 dollars but it's not overpriced not in my opinion anyway and compared to other lego sets it's not overpriced it's expensive but it's worth it but then there could be a set that's supposed to be like, mm, let's say Ewok Village, which I also reviewed, go check that out. Um, it's a $250 set, which I think is a great price for it. And if it sold for $400 or $350 or even $300, I'd call that overpriced. But that is sort of the difference. So with blind bags, they are not expensive. Like, there is, suppose you have a $10 set, but uh, suppose there's a poly bag for ten dollars. Here's a very good example. I just reviewed this. You can check it out. The Hamleys Royal Soldier. This cost me eight bucks for a poly bag, one figure. I got it because it was an exclusive. But to London because Hamleys are only in London and uh, places like that. But that is eight dollars for one minifigure. That's not expensive, but it's overpriced. Like eight dollars really isn't that much, but. For this, that's a lot. So that's what I feel uh, like with blind bags. You're paying $4 for one minifigure. And I think that that is just a bad deal. But they're not expensive. So, and I really like minifigures. They're one of my favorite parts of Lego. And I really like the blind bags a lot. And I think it's fun to like, you know, the surprise of seeing which one you get. So I think that I am going to buy them because although they're not good priced they're not expensive like they're overpriced but they're affordable four dollars isn't that much i would like to see these priced at one but i can yeah i it still really annoys me that it's four dollars but i can spare four dollars every once in a while like every month or so or every time a new uh series releases i'll go ahead and grab three packs from that series or something like that because in the end it's not that expensive just overpriced but that is why i have so many of these cmf minifigures and even extras of them and that is why i've decided to buy them even though i think that they are overpriced but yeah that's it for this video hope you liked it please subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon bye Thank you.